All right, let's see what the underneath this puppy looks like. You want to hear the heater? Because I ain't turned it off. I'm not freezing to death. So, so one, you can tell the body machines are going. Uh, let's see. Well, at least it has it in there. Because I am going to rerun the uh, column shifter like it used to be. Uh, bushings are in there. That's plus. Frames already been cleaned and painted. I'm probably gonna probably redo all these fuel lines. So you're not gonna have some bushings going. Yep. So yeah, I'll probably redo all the animals. See the floor pans ain't all rotted out yet. That's plus. Got some new brake line on her. I do know one of the frame rails is rusted out, he was telling me. Then we're gonna have to patch that up. And I think I might go over that trunk pan too. I might snap that back on her. There's some patches right there. And then Like it's just right here on the frame, it's like it's plated, kind of boogered up. I'd probably cut that out. Get there over top of that or something. All right. And what else are we looking at? I don't know, but that's tight. I don't know why it's like that. I don't remember. Tires that were hitting before. I don't want to close. I don't even remember what kind of shocks we had on this thing or something. Or red rotters. That's right, I do remember back in the day if I said run real cheap shocks on it. Still has some cow tracks on it. But it's not hateful looking under here. It still has the nitrous fuel side on it. Right here. Long parade. So, still got some junk on her. That's good. We did go yesterday, picked up another set of uh, split leaf monitors for it. So, I'm going to take those out. I'll put those in there too. There's a big old goofy tank hanging out the back of it. And I'm not loving it. Oh, no. She's a big one. I may end up doing away with that big old tank. And see if he can live with like a cell in it or even just a stock tank back in it with a sump in it. And that tank looks a little funky, y'all. Hanging around the ass like that. Not a fan of that. Yeah. Yeah, not buying it, I don't like it. So here's probably when they sit. Look at that fuel line. Bank. Stop that. So that's got 352 different uh, ants and everything else living up in that line there. So I probably yeah, I'll just take all this. It's not about losing half inch salt on right now. I'll just take all the fuel line off. See if I can't talk him in doing some great all the way up to the front. We'll do eight or ten up to the front. For fuel and one for the nitrous side, obviously. We're gonna keep the power steering, power brakes. So this way, when he wants to drive it too, he can with the uh, hand controls. All in all, it is not as bad as I was expecting it to be underneath. Not at all. Like I say, I'm gonna have to redo the trunk pan in it, get rid of that big goopy tank, and access these frame rails a little bit more. They already kind of put a patch in this one looks like you see it. I don't know if I can clean up what they got started or if I should just redo it. I'll take the bumper off of it and I'll which bumper looks like it's like not only tight. And then 
get up there and look at that a little bit more. Uh, looks like it has the new trunk braces for tank already tacked up in there. And I'm not sure if I can just pretty it up on the inside or not. Because it's, you see what embedded right here. And underneath here is not terrible looking on it. But inside the trunk pants, a little rough looking. Where it's kind of overlapped in there. All right, well, let me, uh, let's get it back on the ground. I want to pop the trunk open on this puppy in. See what it looks like on the top side again. Well, here's a little bit of nostalgia for you. She went on power tour. And uh, I think it says 96, yeah, 1996. And then he had it at cruising. And it took me a minute to remember it. But I remember I did drive it at cruising when he had it down there too. That was in 2008. Right there. There it is. 2008. I think it had a 470 big block then, I believe. And I think that's the last car, time this car ever ran. So 15 years ago. Alright. Well, she's full of junk. Let's see here. I can't really see much in here. Now I have to get her all cleaned out. Big old, big old ass mess there. Gonna break some nice little snakes in here, but we want it. Get some mice living in there. Yeah, I have to end up cleaning all this junk out. So I can look a little better. Tail light panel's not rotted out of it. Not behind the back glass is a rotted out of it. See, he still has this big old boom box amp in there. Remember that from like mid 90s. So, if I can see a little bit better, we're gonna have to suck all this rat's nest out stuff. Right now, I need to get this off the lift now. Get it moved over to here where my car's at. So, we'll put that here. And now I'm gonna take my car and just stick it in this area for right now. And I got a couple jobs coming in, a couple trans jobs, so I don't know if I get knocked out. And if the steering knife bar comes in for that thing, it'd be going. We could take up room. Still waiting on that. But okay, but you know, you put everything on, you know, internal backwards. So, whatever. Except for today, we'll get that there. Now we get that right there primed up. And maybe some of the old purple paint on her. Alright, the first one jumps around. 